name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A few days ago, we celebrated the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven, August 15th. A week later, we celebrate Mary as Queen. I encourage all of you to purchase this book. It's called The Glories of Mary, written by St. Alphonsus Liguori. Especially in these days in which we're honoring Mary, assumed into heaven, as well as Mary being crowned. I'd like to just read just a few words from the very beginning of this book. This is St. Alphonsus Liguori, one of the greatest masterpieces ever written on the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is what he says. As the glorious Virgin Mary has been raised to the dignity of mother of the king of kings. It is not without reason that the church honors her and wishes her to be honored by all with the glorious title of queen. If the son is a king, says an ancient writer, the mother who begot him is rightly and only considered queen and sovereign. No sooner had Mary, says St. Bernardine of Siena, consented to be the mother of the eternal word, and she merited by this consent to be made queen of the world and of all creatures. Since the flesh of Mary, remarks the abbot Arnold of Chartres, was not different from that of Jesus, how can the royal dignity of the son be, not, be, be denied to the mother? Hence, we must consider the glory of the son not only as being common to, but as one with that of his mother. So this is, uh, that was the very beginning of this book written by St. Alphonsus and Maria Liguori called The Glories of Mary. And what the saint is saying in the introduction is that Jesus is king. He's king of the world. He's king of the universe. And if Jesus is king, he chose his mother Mary, to be his mother, she also is our queen. We all know that a king and queen, they have power. They have power over their dominion, over their, their country. They have power over their vassals. They have power over the individuals in the kingdom. Jesus and Mary have much power. But if we, do, we never ask them for anything, that power is going to be frustrated. So my friends, Read the glories of Mary. You remember the beautiful, beautiful prayer of, uh, that we say to Mary. And what the glories of Mary is, it's a commentary on the Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.